Hey guys, I'm gonna give you a quick guide on Slap Arena. Um, a couple things to note. If you're doing ILs at this stage, you do need to quit out and start over every time. Like you need to quit out to the menu and start every time because of the cycles for these spikes on the bottom. They will actually not reset with start over and you need the cycle to go proper for wave two and uh, the fish buns on wave six, I believe. So anyway, for the first set here, you just kind of jab that first one from the platform, and then you fire wand over to the far one. F tilt this guy, F tilt that guy. Pretty easy there. Uh, you guys probably know the TNT buddies, they'll both activate by being near you and by being hit by any move. So what you can do is, with the first one here, you're going to F smash it, then you're going to fire wand across immediately after to hit the one that's going to spawn over here on the far right. This guy in the middle will walk up and hit the spikes and trigger himself. You F smash this one here, then you're going to jump over this guy from here, F smash the next one, another one will spawn and fall down behind you, triggering itself, and then you just jump up and F smash this guy. So I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like. So very simple, just like that. The next round is two skeletons followed by three invaders followed by two more skeletons. Skeletons die in one F smash and invaders die to one back air. So the most ideal way to do it is something along the lines of this. And I, of course I would miss. So you know, there's, there's backups like that. And obviously if you get lucky a skeleton will destroy one of them. Uh, round four is bees. You kind of just want to double, uh, double sweet spot down air these guys. Uh, that is probably the fastest way to kill them, honestly. So again, this with this being a guide, it's not going to be perfect on this run. I'll try to show a more perfect run after. Um, round five, we have the Princess Remedy enemies. I don't know what they're called. They take two down airs to kill, or they can take a down B and a down air. I choose to use two down airs. Uh, I just use two spike down airs. Like this. And I always leave that enemy on the right, because you usually have to kill some fish buttons. So I usually like to deal with this guy last. Just so that you can use the platform moving this direction. Uh, round six, you want to try to F smash this guy before he gets on the platform. That way he just gets launched off and you don't have to worry about him anymore. Uh, the fish buttons will take care of themselves on the spikes most of the time. Alright, round seven, you have bees again. So your goal is to get rid of these yellow bees as quick as possible. So that you can get up here to focus on the red bee. Uh, again, you know, bees most... The most ideal way to kill bees is spike down airs, but up tilt does the same amount of damage. For round eight, you just want to kind of wait until you see the first invader, and then you're going to back air into the set. You know, also, you're, 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 you have time to waste here, because you're waiting for the TNT buddies to kill themselves too. Uh, obviously, it's better if you can go and fight the TNT buddies. This wave, you don't really have to worry about how fast you do the bees, as long as you're ready for the skeletons when they spawn. Um, and you also want to make sure that you're killing everything before the last TNT buddy dies. Alright, final round. Most ideal setup is when he does Robo Sword first, because you can get a couple downers there. Or a couple up smashes there. For this, you want to charge Fire Wand and hopefully hit it when it spawns. Um, always start charging after the fourth is spawned, like this. Full charge fire wand is really brutal for this guy. And obviously Robo Buddies and Robo uh, Saw Blades are the worst moves that you can be given. Uh, ground Pound's not great either, but it's better at least. You know, then you can do whatever you want at the end. It was a 305. I've gotten 253s. I've gotten some runs that could have been 250s, but I messed up. Um, but I'll go ahead and try to record a better run of this so that you guys can see it all in motion. But that was just a quick, like, kind of explanation as to how to do it. But I want to show you guys how it looks in motion.
So as you can see, that was a little bit better of a run. It had kind of bad boss RNG, but everything else went okay. Uh, my round 9 wasn't the greatest either. The one Red B survived for quite a while. But I think you kind of get the idea. It does end up consistent. You do end up making sure that when the last enemy that you're not focused on dies, you're ending the round. But hopefully that gave you guys a little bit more insight and helps you devise strategies of your own. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Hope it helped. See you guys later.